Right. Um, Zach Hardaway has been fired by Castle with a terminate his contract with immediate effect. Um, I think that's the end of his career. I think it's done. I don't think he can come back from this. He's had too many chances. If you look at my previous videos, if you're new to the channel, look at my videos I did of him when he first broke. So I look at his, his history from Featherstone, Leeds, Penrith, and Garsford, his indiscretions such as the assault allegations and the homophobia comments he made on the pitch to the older Monaghan brother during a game. Uh, the fact that Leeds put him through this anger management course, they try to work out, you know, control his drinking and, you know, trying to get a bit more discipline off the pitch with curfew and training. So it leads Featherstone, obviously, it's a, it's a lower standard, so the intensity level's a bit lower, the fitness levels are a bit lower, and they had a, clearly a player who was too good for the championship and would now grow the club quite quickly from where the club was. So they were sad but happy to let him go, if you know what I mean. Um, they couldn't hold him back anymore. I'm not going to go into his club history, but Leeds, it went from there, and then he went to Penrith and he ended up at Castleford. Um, but with the negative press that the sports had with other players doing cocaine or getting caught, Strangy Chase, Proctor, Bromwich, Sean Haydale, etc., with P players in the past like Russell Packer who assaulted people who've been given that second chance, have not re offended. But when they were re offending, you know, they had to go serve their time. The thing is that Cardac has been given multiple second chances by these, these clubs and he's. Um, constantly had off-field issues. Um, we don't know if he had any off-field issues at Penrith or at Featherston. We do know about Leeds. So, going by Leeds, we have to assume the worst of the other two or three clubs because Carlsford have not stated anything yet. It may all come out that he was a pain in the arse. And he probably was. But I think they've done the right thing. Uh, there's another reason for this. So many young players are putting their hands up right now across multiple clubs both here and in the other room saying, look, select me. Another thing is a lot of these older players are coming to the end of their careers all at the same time. It's what I call the golden generation of rugby league back in Australia, in the NRL, and over here at the Super League. A golden generation of players. Your Sinfields, your, your, your Paul Gallants, your Smith, your Slaters, your Cronks. They're all either, you know, your Maguires, your Burrows. They're all coming to their careers end or have just retired. So this... Those players in their mid to late 30s, this big band that all came through in the 90s and the early 90s were all retiring at the same, roughly the same period of time. And all these young players are coming through um, at the same time. So, Zach Hardake is sort of in the middle. He's not in his late 30s, he's not in his teenage years, he's in his mid 20s. And he's going to be out of the game for another 18 months. And he's got a big wage bill against his name for a, for a club of cast with size that, okay, well, well within the cap, but they have less money to play with. That's a big financial drain. And all the legal stuff that goes with it. Because they're paying a guy who's not going to be able to play for them. It's business. It's economics. That's another reason why I think they let him go. Um, but there's multiple reasons why. He's had so many second chances, it's unbelievable. Um, he's had so many off-field off issues that if you look at other players, you just have to look at the parallels. Um, there are multiple examples I could use, but I'm not going to make the video, make the video too long. Um where Clark players have been deregistered. For betting your relegator, I think it was Simona, yeah, West Tigers, uh, or Cyril, Cyril Simona, who had the betting irregularities last year, was deregistered immediately and will never play ever again. Um, there, there are multiple players who have come across this in the past with various levels of success in the, in the sport, but there's multiples. He's not the first, he won't be the last to have a chequered history, but I don't think he plays again for various reasons. Partly because of his ill-discipline, but partly because there's so many young, talented players coming through. And he's a dead weight for 18 months. And in that 18 months, because he's on the salary cap, it means they probably can't sign that young, talented player from the Championship, but they can't bring up this young, talented player from their reserve team or their youth team into first team regular contention, given the contract, because he's on the books. So economics has got to play out to part of play and general development of the team. Well, that is that. Um, that's my view on it. I don't think he plays again. I think Arsenal have done the right thing, and they've laid down a mark to the rest of the sport, saying that we won't tolerate this. Uh, other teams have stuck by players who've added discipline problems, but they basically said, look, no, it's previous clubs, they gave them a chance, and it backfired on them. We are not going to have it backfire on us. It's already harming the team now. Bang. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. Check out my other videos on the subject, and check out my other playlists, uh, my other videos. Please subscribe, place some comments below if you've got a view on this and why he should or shouldn't play again, or why have they done the right or wrong decision below. Uh, please like subscribe because they are your friends and I need as many likes and as many subscribers as possible to grow this channel because I've just got demonetized. So if you're new to the channel, um,
you just think I've start, just started up, but if you regular to the channel, you notice my ads are not appearing anymore. And that's because I didn't reach the 1,000 subscriber mark again, and I did not reach the, the view time because I don't even reach the 10,000 view mark not that long ago. I've only recently monetized, and because of Logan Paul, I you know have fallen afoul of the new policy. So we are trying to get the channel back monetized again. So obviously no one's going to agree with my opinion, but place comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.